Good morning, guys, gals, and I'm Binary Pals. It is Thursday morning. Um, still don't quite know what to say about the state of affairs in this country. I went on a nice little rant very, very late last night on my Instagram stories, which I've saved to my highlights. Granted, my highlights are pretty packed, so you'd have to go through a bunch of things in order to find my rant. But I mean, if you've got an extra 10 minutes in your day, you just want to hear me go off and make some pretty good points, I think. Um, you know, you're welcome to do that. But um, yeah, it's Thursday morning. I'm just, you know, just here, just trying to get by because what else are we supposed to do? It's hell day. Luckily, everybody slept well, so there's that. Um, and everybody seems to be in a good mood so far. We don't typically know. <laughs> as far as like the mood, we don't really know until um, we gotta get dressed and we realize, I'm using the royal we here, when we realize that um, today's not just like a chill in your pajamas and play with your iPad all day sort of day. Um, so once we realize that there's work to do, that's when we really know like, oh, okay, that sounds good to me. I, or I guess, you know, I can handle that. Or the flat out like, nah, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna battle all day long. So time will tell, I suppose, but it is hell day. We have three things scheduled today. And uh, the good thing is that once these three things are finished, so are we. For the week because I canceled therapy tomorrow so that we could go to the zoo <laughs> because it's I think the last Friday before school officially lets out in the county and once summertime hits all of our favorite haunts um, tend to become overwhelmingly packed because everybody literally everybody and their mother is at the zoo, at the museums, at the playgrounds, mm -hmm. etc. which we don't really do most of those things anymore since COVID. But the one place we do feel comfortable-ish going, depending on the day, is the zoo. Because if we go during the week, or during school, I should say, and, um, you know, the fact that it's all outdoors and we usually rent the little bike, so we're kind of in our own little cocoon, speeding through whatever crowd we might run into, that makes it more um, feasible to us to feel like we can safely manage an outing. But once school lets out, weekdays are off the table because a weekday is just as likely to be packed as a weekend is. So trying to get in one last guaranteed trip before we kind of have to really strategize uh, in order to go anywhere in the summer. But um, it's my mom's birthday, first off, so happy birthday, mom. And uh, we've decided to invite them along. <laughs> she actually kind of invited herself. She was like, so when are we going to the zoo on Friday? Um, but I was like, you know what? Yeah, why not? Let's make a thing of it. So she's coming. My dad's coming. Um, we're going to rent a big bike <laughs> because we don't all fit in the small one and we're hoping to have a good time kiddo is super excited every time that we've brought up the word zoo or that he's even brought up the word zoo it's been like and we just have to keep reminding him okay but it's on friday but it's on friday it's not today it's on friday so looking forward to that looking forward to four days off because i feel like my brain needs the break but yeah before any of that fun stuff happens we gotta get through today first. So, happy Thursday. I just realized that, well, you guys probably already saw it because I'm sure I included it in the camcorder effect and probably even in the title, but today is the 800th day that I've been daily vlogging through the pandemic, which first off, 800 days of the pandemic, but also, um, the, the point that I'm going to choose to focus on right now is I feel like after 800 days of getting a glimpse into my day-to-day -day life, of me sharing my thoughts, sometimes in a very vulnerable way, I feel like after that amount of time, 
you probably have a pretty good idea of who I am, right? Like you probably feel like you've really gotten to know me to some degree. And so if after all this time, if after getting to know me, you're still here, thank you. Because that really means a lot. Um, I'm trying hard to hold back on the whole Sally Field. You like me, you really like me. <laughs> it's my brain can't help but go there. But really like 800 days is a hell of a commitment, not just to vlogging, but to follow a vlog, to follow a channel, to follow a person, to care enough about a person and what they're up to, to still be here after all this time. So truly, sincerely, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Because let's be honest, I just really enjoy talking to myself. So I'd probably be doing this anyways, no matter who's watching. But the fact that I know that some of you are out there watching religiously even like you never miss an episode you're always commenting you're always here encouraging me when i'm going through hard stuff and you know laughing at my antics and whatever that really does mean a lot so thank you i'll i'll stop being mushy now In case you wanted an update on the birds and the ceiling i think it's safe to say that their eggies have hatched Twitter is wild in that for every ridiculous take out there, some lunatic exists that not only fervently believes it, but is willing to commit to it in writing and send it out across the internet. I actually just came across something in my Twitter feed that said that we already know the alt-right hates the police based on what we saw in January 6th last year. But since when does the left hate the police? Talk about the pot calling the kettle black, as in how leftists are always talking crap about the alt-right, but we both hate the police. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even, let me see if I can um, uh, keep my brain from short-circuiting after yeah. reading that. But in case you didn't know, the police department was created by the right mm. to rein in freed and or escaped slaves. It's always been about incarcerating black people and, and protecting white rich people's property, as it were, right? Um, it's never been about protecting people. And the left has certainly, the actual left, has certainly never liked the cops like I don't know where you've been but um meanwhile the right not the alt-right that hates the cops based on what you saw on January 6th but the right generally pretends to love police while also at the same time stocking up on weapons to one day use against them because that's literally what the second amendment is about as interpreted by the modern day right is about stocking up on guns so that when one day the police turns against you you are well armed to fight the police that's literally what the second amendment means as far as a modern day interpretation. So they're pretending to love cops while simultaneously building up their reserves of weapons to use against them. And yet right now you want to talk about, oh, how suddenly the left hates the cops. They've always hated the cops. Like everything the cops stand for is fervently anti-left. Where have you been? I'm just, I'm just blown away that this level of like ignorance and stupidity exists and that they're willing to commit to it in writing. And I just want to put out there, because I know that it's going to happen. Somebody's going to come into my comments and be like, not all of the right feels that way. Not all of the left feels that way. Listen, like everything else in life, if you hear something someone says and it makes you feel a certain way, think about why you feel that way. Because if I'm, if I'm not describing you, if you're not in that contingent, if that doesn't apply to you, then just let it go. Why are you taking it on? Why are you trying to force your foot into that shoe that according to you supposedly does not fit? If it doesn't fit you, leave it alone. However, if you're hearing what I'm saying and it's making you feel a certain way because you think, oh my gosh, does that apply to me? I don't like the idea of that applying to me. That offends me. I'm going to take it out on her. 
Maybe you, there's some internal work that you need to do. Maybe there's some reflection and some thinking you need to do on your own life choices and, uh, and your stances if that's how my words make you feel. But again, if what I'm saying does not apply to you, then leave it alone. There's no need to defend yourself if yourself is not who I'm talking about, right? I'm just saying. Yeah, it's, it's my pedal. It's my pedal that's doing that. Yeah. Go crazy in the I saw at least one other field trip in red shirts. Yeah. Poisonous reptiles. Mm -hmm. Hi, so you can be like, I'm a hat. I'm a hat? Yeah. Don't get the class. You want to scare him off? Hello, Ranita. Hi. Okay, cool. Even the camera's picking up how the, how the thing shifts. Those are gibbons, no? I'm not sure. Nope, apparently they are white faced sake monkeys. Okay. The pepperonis of the sea. It's Buckbeak. La madre arpía se paraba en las ramas de los árboles. Careful, those things will bite your fingers. Will they? Have you ever had your finger bitten by an alpaca? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. It's not gonna scare. Oh, it's bright in here. Hi guys, happy Saturday afternoon. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because we spent all morning, afternoon at the zoo. We had an absolute blast. Uh, it was so hot. It was extremely hot. I'm actually really sunburned. You could probably tell. Super sunburned. But um, it was really, really, actually, it was <laughs> packed with field trips of all things. Um, clusters of 20, 40, 80 people at a time. But the good thing about that is that most of the people that were at the zoo were field trips. So as long as you avoided said clusters, there were plenty of places around the zoo depending on the place or depending on the time that were absolutely empty completely empty so we actually got to do everything we got to do more things yesterday even with all those people there than we have done on any other recent trip to the zoo so it was fantastic and then while we were there my parents called and said hey you want to come over for lunch sure so we went over had lunch it was a great day today it's almost 4.30 in the afternoon, and I'm only just now picking up the camera. It's been a great day too. It's been a nice mix of being productive. Um, I reorganized the fridge. I'm about to put some frames up in my son's room. Lots of cool little things, projects around the house. I even painted this morning, like not painted the house. I painted a canvas. I love yellow flowers and it's a pain in the butt to find yellow flowers or the, the exact ones I want all the time. So I decided to paint some flowers on canvas today and they're not beautiful, but I have yellow flowers whenever I want now. So it's been a really nice day. And then I also have spent most of the day <laughs> re-watching season three of uh, Stranger Things, which is a gamble because season four came out yesterday and I'm trying really hard to avoid spoilers. So, um, 
just trying to stay off social media basically because I'm almost done with season three, but then I have seven episodes of season four to get through. That's coupled with the fact that my son is obviously not super into Stranger Things. He's entertaining himself anyways, but my husband doesn't care for Stranger Things. So I can't just like watch it all day because I feel bad making him watch something he doesn't care for. So that's the challenge really of this weekend is trying to get through season four of Stranger Things um, in a balanced way that makes sense for everybody. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in and say hi because I hadn't yet and get you guys up to date on how my Saturday is going so far. So yeah, happy Saturday. Hey friends, happy Sunday. Um, getting a very late start to vlogging, but certainly not to the day. Um, my son has been awake since 3.30 this morning and no signs of slowing down yet. It's, I think I mentioned it's 4.30, I'm not sure. I certainly meant to mention it. It's 4.30 in the afternoon now. And um, I ended up having to nap um, for about an hour and a half uh, this, late morning early afternoon my husband basically insists he's like you don't feel well like you need to sleep so i slept for a bit got some energy back i recorded a couple recipes today i meant to record my planner video for the last three days and i haven't done it yet it's supposed to go up tomorrow morning on monday as usual but um I'm thinking I might record it tomorrow and release it on Tuesday instead. I'm sure most people are going to be doing Memorial Day things rather than being on YouTube tomorrow anyways, so I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. But um, <laughs> having Friday off and not using it to its full productivity capacity as I usually do, which I think I mentioned in not the last episode but the one before, the last one that happened on a Friday, was that I like having Fridays. Um, as kind of like a precursor to the weekend because it's a very chill day therapy wise but that means I have a lot of time where I can focus on productive things particularly channel things and then I have the weekend to just hang out the fact that Friday was a hangout day this week really put me behind on channel stuff but that's fine I'm sure you guys understand I'm sure that you guys are cool with it so the planner video will be a little late um, this is coming out before that anyway, so you guys already know that. But yeah, um, as if on cue, it's been really stormy here all day today. Uh, lots of power outages all day. It's been really gloomy and just, it's a perfect day for a nap. What can I tell you? I don't know how my son is still awake. So because it's a stormy, stormy Sunday and the kiddo refuses to nap, um, at this point, actually, it might be too late for him to nap because I would definitely screw with tonight's sleep schedule. But I'm trying to watch Stranger Things <laughs> because I already have, like, there's so many people posting spoilers online and I'm trying really hard to avoid them. I didn't even watch the trailer before the season started because I wanted to be absolutely surprised. I'm about to finish episode three, but I'm having to watch it on my phone because looks a little scary for kiddo so i'm not trying to watch it on the big tv um he's hanging out in his room anyway so i probably could get away with it but i feel like i'm not getting the full experience watching it on my phone but it also just seems to be like the way that makes sense if i want to actually watch it before i accidentally run into anything online so that's pretty much all i'm planning to do for the rest of the day today is like cook dinner stay awake <laughs> survive and hopefully watch some stranger things so yeah happy sunday all right friends lots of shadows lots of background noise lots of awful lighting i must be in our bedroom but i wanted to say good night before i closed out the video we are now halfway through episode five of season four of Stranger Things. My husband, despite his initial apprehension, seems to be getting into it. So we'll see. Um, I believe there's only seven episodes now and then the other two or the last two of the season come out over 4th of July weekend. 
which would give me something else to do then. But A, sucks to wait. B, sucks to have to wait so long for season five. Um, but uh, to my understanding, the last two episodes are basically like feature length, um, which each of these episodes has been an hour, 15 minutes, an hour and a half, something like that. So pretty much it's like we're getting nine movies to tell this story throughout the course of the season. So honestly, we really shouldn't complain, even though it did take almost three years, but anyway. <sighs> so I'm tired. My son somehow managed to stay awake all day long. I legit do not know how. I can't fathom because <laughs> by like noon, I was done. And yet it's 9 p.m. and he's still kicking. So I'm hoping that he's not overtired. I can't imagine how he's not overtired, but I'm hoping that he's just tired enough where he falls asleep easily, but he stays asleep all night, gets some nice rest, and in the morning he can wake up and be happy and, you know, <sighs> rested and ready for the day. Luckily, it is Memorial Day tomorrow, so we don't have therapy, thank goodness. Um, but we also don't have any plans. We've always spent Memorial Day at my parents' house, and it typically rains, except last year somehow by miracle it didn't. But officially, as of right now, as of tonight, Sunday night, we don't have any plans for tomorrow. So whatever happens, I'll bring you guys along. But in the meantime, let me know what you did on Memorial Day, because this video is coming out after the fact. So let me know what you did. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are safe. Hope you guys <sighs> had a relaxing weekend. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!